You ready? Okay. Yeah. Yes. My name is Kathleen Scarborough. I'm American. I was born in Chicago, but um, <clears throat> I've been living in France since 1975. And I have been a professional painter and sculptor since 1981. And uh, my, my work has brought me into um, a sphere that we call public art. That means I actually earn my living painting in public places uh, in the United States and in other places. And this type of work brought me close to many different populations. So in the United States, sometimes I worked with the Mexican community. In France, sometimes I, I worked in Reunion Island for 10 years with the Creole community. And so my work has been um, often or practically always about some other cultural group than my own. So it's, it's been very interesting plunging into other people's universes, seeing how they live, seeing, sending back a reflection and seeing how they react to that reflection. And I started working on India, the India theme around 1995. I became fascinated with India because I met a fabulous um, meditation teacher in Paris who had an ashram in Southern India near Chennai. And so I started going and it just seemed like a logical cont continuation of what I'd already been doing for years and years. In other words, I'm once again plunged into a culture different from mine and I'm sending back a reflection. I don't paint famous people. I don't paint rich people. I paint everyday life. I think I have that in common with our Southern Indian painter here. Uh, I find beauty in the simplest of things. And I think that art is basically communication. So when I'm sending something out, I am, I'm saying something to the person who's looking at the painting. And what I'm saying is that life is beautiful. Life is beautiful all around us. You don't have to be a fashion model to be a beautiful woman. Actually, probably the most beautiful people on the earth are children. Nature is never ending inspiration. So just by sending back this reflection of, of how I feel about humanity, how I feel about daily life and adding a message of hope because I feel like we're all living in a time when there's just too much negativity. There's bad news every day. And I feel like people need to be able to look at something and feel not only solace, but a leap of imagination and a moment of freedom. So that's one thing that I hope that people will find in my paintings. Sometimes when I have shows, I'll go to the exhibit and not tell anyone that I'm the painter and just listen to what people say. Because it's one thing to paint a picture. It's quite another to hang it up and see how people react to it. It's a very interesting experience. And I always feel very differently after a show because I've hung up a large amount of work. And in thanks to the reactions of people who see it, I reorient myself. So, you know, painting is, what is it about? It's like music or any other artistic activity. It's about sharing and communicating. And uh, I can go on for hours, but I think that's a good way to begin. Go okay. ahead. Okay, thank you for the short presentation. Uh, no, uh, I am sorry, I have some difficult to the um, PPT. So uh, I don't know if you see the, uh, the picture. Uh, I saw the first. Yeah, because well, we are first because I am so. Uh, I will show something and uh, I, I don't say. Well, I think <laughs> uh, our young painter probably recognized something in that first picture. Mm -hmm. Because the little girl that I painted was from Pondicherry. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> she was on the beach of Pondicherry. That little. Oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, many. Uh, one, two. Mm -hmm. So this is the one one you are Pondicherry, is it? Yes, yes, and it's called Beyond the Known Universe. It's a, a painting about dimensions and it's a painting about time. I don't know if you can see very well, but in the bottom right hand of the picture, there are a number of old watches and clocks. Yeah. And we, that, that to me signifies that our younger generation, the generation of this little girl will not look at the time the same way we have always looked at it. In other words, linear time is falling apart and 
she will look up into the sky and the planets that she sees and the stars she sees, she won't see them the same way her grandmother saw them. Because now we're breaking out into space and these places are going to also become familiar to us. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of um, a hinge painting between the past and the future and the, the quick transition that humans are making towards a totally different vision of reality. This one is called um, the heart of the matter. And the heart for me is the, the seat of the soul. So within the heart is everything. It's, it's the life of the person, it's our entire universe, it's nature itself. I, I often feel, we often think that we're in our bodies. Well, I feel like our bodies are within our hearts and our hearts are nature itself. So that's why there was this zoom into this, the, it's a woman actually with her jewelry, but that's her heart that we're seeing and all that's linked to it. This is a lovely lady from Rajasthan. Yeah. yeah. And you can see on the upper left, there's a statue from Kajaraho. Yeah, wow. um, you know, I often include pieces of Indian sculpture, architecture, because uh, there's a, such an incredible, especially a tradition of uh, sculpture in India. It's a constant source of inspiration. I think it's, um, it's as exciting as anything that we have in Europe. I got the same feeling the day that I visited Elora that I got when I went to Florence, which was human beings did this and it's totally amazing. So I often include pieces of sculpture in my paintings. This one's called By the River. It's just a young woman in Southern India. You recognize certainly that this is Southern India and she is just drying um, some textiles out by the edge of the river. And this one, um, is called The Lady and the Rose. Just one more example of perfect beauty and innocence. I, I really love to paint people who don't know that they're being observed and who don't even see their own beauty. And I like that, that just that innocent, instantaneous moment in that fleeting expression that you can sometimes capture in painting. I, I have one question, Kathleen. How do you catch the this 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 time because uh, uh, I mean you take photo or your picture you're drawing or what you are doing all of my paintings are a mixture of many things because sometimes uh, there are photographic elements in which in the the like for example the face of this girl is an Indian friend who gave me this photo a very good uh, Indian photographer he said just use it if you like mm -hmm. but you can see there's many other things going on in this photo there's pieces of other paintings there's drapery from um paintings in europe there's some gold leaf uh, there's a painting of uh, some nature that i just did uh, from memory so it's it's always a mixture of many things the, it's a girl in the rose but the rose she was not wearing that rose i, I she had actually a rather um tired flower on her <laughs> on her dress so i replaced it with something new and fresh so it's a constant mixing of many many different elements yeah. <clears throat> Next one. This one's called uh, In the Street. And, and this one, I, I like the idea in India of this, this incredible mixture of input at the same time. For, for those of us who come from Europe, our first uh, arrival in India is, is basically we're just kind of stunned by the activity. There's so much going on. There's so much color. Everything is painted. The mm -hmm. cars are painted. The women look fabulous. There's color everywhere. And it gives kind of an instantaneous splash of that, that takes some time for your mind to actually interpret. You know, for, for those of us who for, from a, a different type of environment, it, it's kind of the first reaction is that it's like, okay, how do I interpret everything that all these things that are happening at once? So I try to capture that a little bit in this painting. And this one is called Apsara divine dancer once again uh the woman's face she's a woman that i actually knew in southern india and a statue from kajaraho i often work on the subject of the eternal feminine this is a very beautiful painting i mean you it look like uh, really you know if, if take the face the smile uh, and the figures I mean, she was as sweet as she looks there she oh. was a really sweet woman and I think in her expression, you see it. Oh. 
Now this one was from a trip, of course, further north. This is Rajasthan. It's called Gangor. They have quite a, a big uh, Gangor festival every year there. And this is also a moment captured. Um, <clears throat> it was actually, it's a combination of a number of images that a friend of mine, who's also a very good photographer captured. So the people that are in the group are, it's not that, that group never really existed. I, I kind of picked and chose, but, but I thought it was an interesting moment. <clears throat> there's obviously some kind of discussion going on and think there's some tension in the painting but um, it reminded me, the woman in the, in the front with her, her hand out, it just reminded me of paintings that I'd seen in, in Europe, um, kind of biblical scenes with plenty of drama. And, and I realized, you'll notice that in almost all of my paintings, there's a lot of drapery. Now, drapery was often used during the Renaissance and before and after in Baroque painting and in uh, uh, romantic painting as a way of um, linking a, an image together and creating a, a sense of something very precious, very fleeting, very exciting, uh, colorful, and uh, a spiritual aspect. Uh, so if you walk through the Louvre and just look at drapery, it's amazing what was done with drapery over the centuries. So. Of course, for someone like me who comes from here and goes there and sees all these women dressed like this, it's, it links back in my mind to the European Renaissance and, and the important role of drapery in paintings. But how do you choose the color and how do you work with the color? Because this is, the, I mean, to, to uh, painting, it's very, the color is very different. Yeah. Every painting is an, is an experience in color and in color harmony. I spend a lot of time looking at paintings mm -hmm. and, and studying color by looking at some of the best colorists we've known uh, it, well, in Europe. I mean, the, there's colorists like, um, like Bonnard, Vuillard, uh, Matisse, uh, early Matisse, more than later Matisse. Of course, the Impressionists, like in this painting, you could actually sense a more of an impressionist impression. of color yeah. you know mm -hmm. so depending on what's going on in the painting okay and how the people are dressed then that will suggest a color harmony and i will develop that color harmony mm -hmm. okay are this oil on canvas oil, oil, all, is oil. all oil on canvas and there's yeah. only one tool used in any of these and that's a paintbrush people have often asked me do you use airbrush do you no 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 it's all paintbrush. There's no, um, you know, no painting on top of a photograph or any of that stuff. I, I just start in with a paintbrush and I finish with the paintbrush just the way they did it back in the 15 and 1700s. The technique I use actually dates back to the Flemish and the Italian Renaissance. I had a teacher who taught me that. I make up my own mediums. I make up my own emulsions. I just did one this morning because I don't trust the already made products and they never say what's in them. I know what needs to go in an emulsion. I need, I know what needs to go in a medium to uh, get Im immediate results and long lasting results. Because oil painting is not like acrylic. Acrylic, after a half hour of drying, it's in its eternal condition. It's not going to move. Oil will continue living and it will become more transparent and a number of bad things can happen if you're not careful about technique. We've seen this in all of the European museums. There are many, many, even masters who've had uh, terrible disasters with their paintings. Mm -hmm. So I made sure, well, I was very lucky to, to meet a teacher who really understood this, gave us his recipes, and I'm using them to this, to this day. And curiously, the man who taught me this was not a European. He was a man from Trinidad. Okay. Um, yeah, and he taught me this technique. He, a number of his students who know this technique, but uh, it's one way of preserving something very precious, you know, that would be lost otherwise. It's not something that you can learn by getting a book. This you need a teacher for. So I, I followed the more traditional path of actually working with a master painter to learn oh. these things. But do you teach this technical to other people or, or? I have taught. I have some students have become professional painters. Um, it, it's only a technique that I can teach to someone who doesn't mind spending two months to a year on a painting. Okay. Back in uh, the Titian's time, mm 
-hmm. An average length of time for a painting, say three feet wide, mm -hmm. was a six month event. Now we're in a time also where things are supposed to go quickly. Well, so most young painters or even older painters get discouraged at the idea of spending six months on a painting. I don't, I love it, so it's okay. But it's most of the painters that I know uh, really balk at the idea of this huge investment time-wise. And luckily I always had plenty of clients for other types of work, like the public work that I did in cities in the US because it's very difficult to get paid correctly for something that took you a year to do. So it's a labor of love more than anything else. What is the size, ma'am? Each painting's uh... this one that you're looking at is a fairly small piece. You know, it's maybe uh, 24 inches high. Two feet high. Huh? 24 inches high. Yeah, two feet high. This is also a small piece. The woman's head is. Uh... Yeah, really, I, I love this this painting, ma'am. Uh, I saw your painting uh, before. No, uh, it is very beautiful composing. I love uh, composition. I, love I just love composition. And you know, I do a lot of it on the computer. And I do it on the computer because it, that's one thing that can go quickly. You can try all kinds of things out. You can do 25 different trials with your the story you want to tell before you actually say, okay, this is the one I'm going to use. So that's the fast part in the, of what I do. It's the only fast part <laughs> of my work. But it is really... Um, for me, using Photoshop was a revolution because accidents happen all the time. And sometimes it's the accident that makes the exciting painting because there's a surprise element. You know, you bring something in, you don't know what kind of effect that's going to create. And then the thing takes off on its own. It's kind of like a jazz improvisation. You put in three things and then the, the melody takes on a life of its own. So in this one, this is kind of the East meets West. This, the name of this painting is Annunciation. And what you have is a painting from the Renaissance fair on the left. That is a painting that I saw in Italy called Annunciation. It's a common theme in European art. It's the day that a woman, well, in the case of, of the Christians, it's the day that Mary realized that she was going to be a mother. But to me, that's such a universal event for women. And it's an internal revolution. In other words, it, it does, when a woman knows she's going to become a mother, it doesn't show as she's walking down the street, but her life has changed forever on that day. And so that's what I tried to capture here, this wave of water that arrives. This is, this is the revolution. This is the wave of emotion. She's being swept along. Her life will never be the same. And nobody looking at her would even know that all this is going on. So it's kind of an exciting interior moment that I tried to capture. And of course you have got Krishna on the upper right playing his flute and life continuing. Okay. Uh, if you want, uh, Gokulam, you can present your painting your, yourself. Yes, sir, yes. After that, we can. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Very nice. Uh, Very lovely. I am a... <laughs> This is uh, my first oil painting. When I am started, when I know uh, what kind of material this, uh, I don't know about the uh, oil colors and all. Uh, before uh, I'm doing in a signboard artist, uh, I'm doing uh, every shop in a, in a signboard artist. After ch changing the revolution, revolution means it is coming digital. After uh, manual work, it will come a printing flux printing and the digital printout are also coming now. So that time uh, we had uh, no works here. So I I planned I'm going to start the doing painting because I love paintings, uh, portraits, I like the Tandal. Mm. So I want to know uh, what is the oil painting, how we can start the oil painting. Uh, I'm not having any teachers. Uh, so then my friend told, uh, sir, uh, Anna, uh, some uh, materials is there, you can see this. No? Then if he's showing oil painting, this is like a paste, you can use the linseed oil for mixing uh, dilute. Then I started this. Uh, I love details because I love, I love details in the painting. So 
uh, I started this painting. This is the copy work. Uh, if you see it in uh, detail, every uh, uh, petals, uh, every leaf in it uh, have a lot of details. Uh, this uh, I will done in the 2010. Uh, this is uh, my first oil painting. Uh, You've got company. <laughs> 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 the next one sir yeah this is a very important thing now my international artist uh, mr iman melki and uh, his country is iran uh, just my friend called me uh, then he showing his uh, website uh, and see this the uh, art his hard work it is a very natural and a very lovely colors uh, it is very a huge details is there so uh, also 10 years before Ma. happened uh, i take this uh, paintings and his work and into my heart uh, then i follow him then when i started in uh, facebook i find him uh, i request him he accepted, he accepted my request uh, after that uh, i will uh, take some suggestion Ma. from uh, iman milki sir uh, sir how can i develop my career uh, you know, in painting side Ma. Uh, but he told uh, yeah, just you want to develop your drawing skill first then uh, buy your uh, one new camera then uh, go around in your place uh, take uh, some photos uh, don't copy it in other artist work uh, so um, uh, i tried uh, like that uh, i save small small money then i buy new cameras then i i took photos uh, around uh, my, my place uh, then uh, i started my painting career but uh, he is uh, my uh, i feel he is my guru uh, no teacher i have no I, before i told no so now uh, till now i follow him his words okay. because uh, one teacher is a great teacher so uh, it's a very good uh, ma'am you know iman melki I actually do know of his paintings. I have a friend who had showed me that years ago and I was always impressed. Yes, it's lovely work. Mm, awesome. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, this is the, my first, uh, in, uh, my photo reference. I took photos in my own place. No? Uh, she was a, you know, the, the, the builder's, is the, uh, builder's daughter. Well, this daughter is uh, sitting on the tub. Uh, she, she, she eating some snacks. I took uh, photos, a uh, lot of photos I took, but this photo is uh, very close to my heart because uh, the, in background, some bricks, stones, uh, and the sand, uh, here, then ornaments. He wearing I mean, like on uh, ornaments, it is called polisu. Mm -hmm. That is uh, uh, very good. Uh, I feel uh, very happy to share this. Painting. This is also done in 2011. Uh, uh, in a lot of media, uh, recognize uh, this painting. Uh, it's a very huge response I will get. Uh, so I'm sharing with you. Uh, this is the next one. Um, Google, I'm sorry. If you want, you can take your doctor and your, and your uh, with you because she okay. needs to see. Because... Okay. okay. <laughs> மிலிர்தான் <laughs> 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 Okay. Uh, shall I start, sir? Yeah, please. Uh, this is my second realistic painting. This is also my photo reference. Uh, uh, the, in the background, uh, the new building is going on. Also. Nearby that uh, light green building is, uh, that is my staying room. Uh, my staying room front of only this scene, uh, this house and all happened. Uh, every morning, uh, my, uh, I'm going with my friend taking tea, tea shop, no? Uh, uh then returning i uh, will take i took this photo uh, then i saw this uh, in uh, i am also following uh, doing in uh, composing in uh, photoshop 
uh, it is i edited this uh, picture then it will come uh, very natural and uh, saying something the background is the new building is going on then front of is a traditional house uh then the small girl also uh, standing in front of the her house and then uh, she also selling the flowers uh some expected some expecting is there in painting both face so i love this uh, painting in a it is a real life no natural life yeah uh, everywhere we can see this uh, picture but we are not is seeing in a painting so <laughs> i done this uh, painting sir Uh, then uh, this is the very important one uh, if, uh, this is the festival time this is the festival time is a car festival the big car festival time this is the famous in uh, in our uh, native place called uh, karamadai ther solluvanga i took photo in uh, this is a evening time uh, like uh, 5 or 5:30 i took this photo Uh, unfortunately i am walking there uh, suddenly i taking i took this photo but i don't know it will come in a, become a painting but it is very huge responsible in, uh, in uh, bangalore a lot of people a uh, uh, lot of people are uh, lack people are uh, liking this uh, uh, painting because of the sitting the traditional people in background if you see that there is a lot of people in sitting in a background is our traditional face then our traditional instruments also they are using no mm-hmm. then uh, then front of that uh, the grandpa is dancing uh, with uh, salangai the wearing ornaments in the leg no that, uh, that's called salangai uh, he feel very emotions uh, the bhakti the devotions uh, he feel very inside the heart they are dancing they are playing instruments the background say uh, people are sitting then uh, lighting it's i love uh, very much in this painting in a lighting so uh, i did this uh, painting it will uh, size is the uh, 6 feet uh, length 4 feet height ah it's a big uh, island canvas uh, this is also 6 feet length 4 feet height the lot of details is that uh, i took 5 month to 6 month uh, i was uh, done this painting oh yeah la huge details sir. this is uh, uh, i took uh, photos of friends uh, then uh, images also the background then uh, front of places also my imagination some that color uh, combinations uh, this is a very huge response this painting i will get in, uh, in uh, all over india uh, the called a lot of people uh, I I I will give important to our uh, traditional people skin tone. In my every paintings, if you see the brown with black and grey is there. Then I am following color harmony also. Uh, <laughs> I am giving more important to our skin tone. <laughs> the dry skin tone is there. No, uh, that is uh, I am giving very uh, important to that. Uh, so I did. I love my our uh, peoples. and because i iman milky sir told uh, don't go anywhere in around in your place lot of subject is that you take it do it uh, and uh, develop your skills that she told no so i followed this sir so then uh, i did this painting it's uh, i feel very happy for this done uh, this painting uh, the inside is a uh, mango leaf is that uh, lot of people told uh, how patience you took this uh, done this painting Uh, the, uh, six months means uh, if you seen in a original painting uh, that pu uh, mala is there flower mala that is very I will take uh, you know the jasmine flowers in the center of uh, painting mm-hmm. I will took uh, only one and a half month for that uh, that place mm-hmm. uh, that painting and I will took one and a half month. Uh, each and every buds i will give the details mm-hmm. then uh, thread also uh, they are using uh, tied for thread no so i am uh, give the details also for that uh, i will get a huge responsible uh, then uh, this paintings 
definitely give some happiness to you all i think thank you uh this is also uh, island canvas 4x4 uh, 4x4 means a 4 feet length 4 feet height uh, she was uh, eating in watermelon uh, just i am also taking the time a watermelon uh, what is uh, the, the lighting sees uh, face happiness uh, then ganesh sir namanda vekka padradhukku nam enna solluvom sir ஒரு <laughs> 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 the hands fingers and all i, I will give more important than uh, than lines uh, the, the nails details it will come very naturally uh, well lighting if i could just make one little remark is that lighting is so essential to this type of work hmm. you know that you're a photographer if the light isn't there you've got nothing it's light that reveals form and if you look at paintings back from the 1600 1700s they really really did some beautiful work with lighting and and i can see that your photography skills have made made it possible for you to get really exceptional lighting and that's what creates space in the paintings yeah that's what makes it work Uh, this is uh, lord venkateshwara uh, you know very well ma'am uh, this is very famous uh, lord in uh, india mm -hmm. in andhra pradesh uh, the tirupati called the, the mountain called the tirupati uh, tirupati lord is venkateshwara i did this painting i used in uh, uh, wood also this is a mixed media i will then uh, click this painting uh, this is that salsa mm -hmm. next one Uh, this is also mixer media uh, this is very uh, close to my heart because in uh, art camp i will in a two days i will do this painting only two days uh, i am pasting some threads for the on the tree palm tree uh, then uh, the parrot also some other materials the foam material foam sheet is there no that is the that material this is fully acrylic uh, yeah. the lot of people are doing some other paintings but i am only doing the, the traditional based you know thing uh, concept uh, so many people so they told uh, sir uh, i saw my native place in your painting and the concept like that uh, i feel very happy this is also mixed media uh, Yeah, the, this is uh, me and uh, Perikutu, uh, which is the one of the drama in our native place. Mm. Uh, this character name is Arjuna. Perikutu, this drama name called is Perikutu. Uh, he was a very expressive character in Perikutu, uh, the Mahabharata concept. The Mahabharata concept. Uh, the character name is Arjuna. this is also um, acrylic uh, this is the out of the globe the star the birth or star creations i will do in, uh, i used in the knife not is the brush this is the knife work mm -hmm. so i i love the color harmony you no know? but when i am learned the color harmony uh, i do this like this the uh, yellow orange red the all fresh colors i'm not using anywhere in the dull colors i use the fresh colors so uh, yeah, this is the one of the first uh, knife work mm -hmm. for mine uh, this is my portrait work this is the order based work uh, some uh, just to showing for you uh, 
how uh, I doing a portrait for art world. Um, I love the, the skin tones, the brown and gray. Uh, so I love this uh, portrait in uh, very close. This is the uh, one year before I done this painting. This the one and a half years I will took for this painting. Yeah. The painting size is uh, eight feet length, five feet height. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the uh, Madurai in Tamil Nadu. In uh, Madurai, Kallalagar, so Lord Kallalagar is the very famous in, uh, in here. The, here. This is the uh, Lord Kallalagar temple in front of this scene. Uh, lot of details is there. The uh, toy seller, then uh, uh, temple tower. I will take the two one, two and a half months for that. Uh, only outline sketch it is the uh, 15 days. Then uh, some other days until I'm doing a painting. It is totally two and a half months for only temple tower. Mm -hmm. uh, because the lot of characters is there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember uh, then, the temple. Mm -hmm. How long, yes. how long time do you take to paint this? It's a one and a half years, sir. Oh. One and a half years. Mm -hmm. One and a half years. Uh, then uh, because uh, uh, in the left side also in a shop, the lemon, then flowers, mm -hmm. uh, then banana. So many huge details works is there. Yes. Minute details works mm -hmm. also is there. Um, then on the on the shop, the mic is the megaphone. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I am only sold uh, that megaphone in a painting in the first people. I am only sold that. <laughs> uh, uh, then uh, people's see my grandma, the granddaughter, mother, the selling all are have a huge details. Uh, mm -hmm. The grandma saris is very important. Mm -hmm. The patu sari. Mm -hmm. uh, Patu details, uh, then uh, small girl dress details, uh, then floor steps and floor. The uh, on the floor, the steps uh, side and the steps carving is the letter carving. Uh, now, uh, steps learning and the carving panel panathering la some slow gas. Adalame Romba detailed Arco. So you, you write the, the in the steps all the you know the uh, mantra script in the steps. Okay. Mm. Uh, do you have a gallery in southern India where you show your work? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I will show in uh, Bangalore and uh, in uh, our place in Coimbatore also. Uh, but I will not get place in proper uh, place in uh, gallery because now only I'm an uh, upcoming artist, you know. So I'm trying till I'm trying. Mm -hmm. the, the, now only, is my, just now only, the, some people are called me, some gallery people. Um, uh, then uh, this, uh, after uh, Corona also came, uh, man. It is uh, two years uh, gone. Uh, so people are uh, trying to say, so you are painting in online. Send your uh, paintings like uh, online that they are telling. But uh, till I'm also I'm trying to know online for selling. Uh, but uh, sewing in online, uh, how it will uh, it is good or not? I don't know. Uh, the selling idea is okay. Personally, but, uh, I don't think it works. I'll tell you why. Because when you look at a painting online, you don't really sense that it's a painting. You could even imagine maybe it's a photo montage or something. So people don't quite understand. If they're actually looking at it, then they will see. So I've never really tried to sell my work uh, online. But um, Maybe portraiture could be, uh, you know, a good direction for you. I've actually done some commission portraits and things like okay. that. You know, the problem that you have and that, uh, like I said, I solved it differently by doing public art, but um, th there is a question of what's in style these days. And the kind of work that we do that takes a huge amount of time doesn't happen to be really in style at this particular moment. Mm 
which does not mean we shouldn't do it. You know, but it's, um, I would say the art market is extremely codified. And if you are outside of this type of approach, mm -hmm. they, and they, even if they like your work, and I, I actually had galleries tell me this, I love your work, but we don't have the clientele for that because people are formatted. They want to see something they've already seen. They want it to see it done this way. And so it's difficult to create new passages in their minds towards a different type of work. But I think when you come down to the real important thing, there's only one real important thing, and that is for you to do exactly what you want. Because I've seen too many artists try to please others and lose their souls doing it. We're not really painting for here and now. You know that, and I know that. We're leaving these things behind us. And they will be like, and they're time stamped. They're not time stamped because we wanted to time stamp them. They're because we're time stamped. The way we see the world, the way we paint, that's something that when people look at it 100 years from now, they'll say, oh, yes, well, that must have been, you know, around 2020. But <laughs> just the way I can look at a painting from the 1600s and say, I know it's the 1600s because that's the way they painted then. So we're leaving these things behind us. We leave them out of love for humanity and love for the act of painting. And I think we can't really hope to do anything else. You know, it's, it's really, um, you've seen, I've seen it all. I've seen excellent painters who never sold anything. I've seen horrible painters who sold everything. I have seen painters, many painters were recognized when they were no longer alive. You know, we've all heard that so many times, but the real test is the test of time. And time will always value. I mean, if, if we have today paintings by Titian that we can see, it's because people looked at them. I'm sure sometimes they ended up in people's attics or, you know, people, what is this? Who, who did this thing? You know, they're still finding Leonardo da Vinci's in weird places you now. But the thing is, if the work is beautiful, it will be preserved. So, and, and then does it really matter for people to say, oh, well, she, this is the lady who did it, or this is the man who did it. No, what matters is the painting itself. That's the beauty of painting. So with time, you know, at first, you know, you might, I, when I was younger, I would say, well, you know, I don't feel like our, our style is really appreciated the way it should be. Now I don't care. I know that the only thing I need to do is the most sincere work that I can. And once I've done that, time will do whatever it does. You know, it's like you spending an hour, a year and a half on a painting. Well, th if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. And it doesn't matter. You will have given meaning to your life and to the lives of others, even when you won't be here anymore. What's more beautiful than that? Yeah, great. True, Mom, it's uh, really true. Uh, Sambet or uh, Ram, do you have any question? Uh, Uh, okay, after that, I translate in Tamil if you want, because it's more better. Okay. 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 Uh, merci, uh, madame et monsieur. Uh, J'étais vraiment très, très content de voir les, les tableaux. Il uh, n'y a pas de différence entre la photo et les et le vrai euh, dessin. Donc, je dois apprécier madame parce qu'avoir choisi l'Inde. Et puis, aussi, aussi euh, euh, Vijay, pour son talent. Merci pour tous les deux. Et j'étais vraiment content de, de participer à cette euh, réunion. Ça va être difficile. Ah, Vijay, Vanakam Vijay. Vanakam, sir, Vanakam. Ah, Culture on the Nala, come the Pandra the Gaga Ninga Sering, I do want you to pon Ramarilla, Ulla and the Weaver with the Umbrodia Vavitla. Umbo Army and the Indo Arthaka, and I am waiting. 
இவ்வளவு கஷ்டப்படுறதே வந்து அந்த உயிர் அப்படிங்கறத நீங்க மனசுக்குள்ள நினைக்கிறீங்க இல்லையா ஆமா ஆமா அதுக்காக தான் அதுக்காக தான் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப அருமையா ரொம்ப அருமையா இருக்குதுங்க என்ன சொல்றேன்னு தெரியல உங்களுக்கு என்னுடைய வாழ்த்துக்கள் தொடர்ந்து செய்யுங்க இந்த இக்கட்டான நிலைமையிலும் வந்து உங்களுடைய பணி வந்து தொடரணும் கண்டிப்பா அதனால வந்து உங்களுக்கும் உங்க குடும்பத்தினருக்கும் என்னுடைய வணக்கத்தையும் வாழ்த்துக்கணும் தெரிவிச்சுக்கிறேன் Uh, Kathleen, uh, Sambeth, she uh, wished a lot, lot of things to Vijay because uh, he, he liked your painting and the uh, Vijay painting. And uh, she's very uh, glad to, to meet together uh, through this uh, Zoom uh, meeting. And also, <clears throat> uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the link we have, it's not only India, but you like humanity and you like uh, the real life. So it's uh, when you're painting, it's a real thing. It's not like only... painting to you give life in the painting that's why sambat exchange with um, vijay <laughs> are you going to put this video on the youtube uh, if you like yeah you're welcome to i and have to uh, you, uh, your permission so if you well, like i, I can permission. thank you so, and then if you don't mind i'll put it on my channel too once you've done it okay no problem <clears throat> uh, that's why i will discuss my technician and i will put in the website too uh, if you like together we can create some gallery uh, in the kalpana association to put uh, uh, for each artist and you can put um, the painting you you like your painting and we can uh, i mean people can contact you if you like that okay and vj uh, i'm sure that bala can give you my email and we yes, can definitely. stay in contact in contact i mean uh, if <laughs> i put all the all the people in the group of artists uh, kalpana so i i create the group of uh, in whatsapp in the group so if you you can exchange you can uh, if you, if you know any art, other artist the idea of the, this kind of meeting it's to present other artist but also other people who can uh, uh, not for me idea because I, I, I actually we didn't go any more but it's not only that it's like to exchange directly to the, uh, to have the opportunity to discuss with the artist and to present the cross the culture and the idea too So if you know any people other other uh there is a gallery in Paris that does only Asian art. Oh. I often have shows there. It's called Gallery Impression. Impression. And it's on Rue Mele, M E S L A Y. The, the owner is a very nice man. Okay. And he shows, you know, Indian or oh, well, Chinese also and and you know, Vietnamese and all, but he does uh show India work. So Okay. It's nice and he would know a ton of people if you want to yes i like some other artists i'm sure he can find plenty of people for you okay no problem but if you can recommend it it's like a thing and i hope the next time you can more people uh, i don't know i i, I invite many people but it's okay it's the uh, first time so you can uh, it can uh, we can start so, so if you uh, do you have any question comment and to finalize Vijay, do you have any comments? You want to say something? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, definitely. Uh, really, very thanks to ma'am and uh, for you and our friends, technical people. You're more than welcome. Giving this great chance. Uh, for my, uh, because uh, we are, uh, I am a small artist in here, but I'm doing a uh, great in my own personal way. Uh, please everyone support me i will uh, definitely i will do in my best mm. uh, to your close in your heart you're doing i will doing do a fine job you're doing a fine job there yes. are no big artists and small artists there's just artists you know definitely so. Vijay. Yeah, you are uh, kathleen she is right she said yes no 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 only i'm uh, upcoming no so the sign so using mm. the word please don't mistake me man uh, then uh, definitely uh, i will do in my focus only i will see in my part uh, my heart telling uh, that only i am going to do i am not a commercial artist uh, i want to show my traditional pure traditional i want to show in world wide uh, what is in my traditional best i want to show in everywhere uh, dresses cultures faces Uh, flowers, and, and you know uh, you can everything. actually um find a lot of interesting ideas when i paint you know like you can see the paintings are often collages of many things i also constantly look at what other people do 
constantly. I'm constantly going online and saying, okay, who did this painting? What kind of painting is it? What is this person trying to do? Well, there's a nice color scheme. Uh, you know, so even though we can't always travel and go to museums at this time, it's a huge part of what we do. You know, it's, it's cross-pollinating. <laughs> you, know, you, you get ideas from others. And so, uh, you know, always maintaining your own personality, of course, but opening up also to just all kinds of, there's, there's a uh, kind of um, ebul ebullition, uh, boiling over of creativity at, at this time. And luckily we have the internet and we can see what people are doing and they're doing some very exciting things. So thank you for both to, to this first meeting and uh, I will be in touch uh, for other, other meeting and other artists. Okay. So keep, keep in touch. Thank you. Take thank care. You. Thank you. You too. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Right. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you.